Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to solve equation by using row equivalent matrix method. So we have a three equations and we have to solve by using row equivalent matrix method. So let's take a start. The augmented matrix is so we have to take just coefficient of x y z what is the coefficient of x 2 so we have to write here 2 coefficient of y is minus 3 so we have to write here minus 3 and the coefficient of z is nothing is here so we have to write down 1 and we have to take sign also here coefficient of x is 1 so we have to write down 1 coefficient of y is minus 2 so let's write minus 2 and the coefficient of z is minus 1 so here we have to write down minus 1 Similarly, coefficient of x is 1, so write on 1. Coefficient of y is minus 1, so we have to write here minus 1. And the coefficient of z is 2, so write on 2. After that, we have to write on the constant number here 4, 1, 9. So let's write on here 4, 1, 9. Now our first aim is to convert this in the form of 1, 0, z, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 in the form of identity matrix. Okay, up to here. Here, first of all, we have to interchange uh, first row and second row uh, to get here 1. So, we can do in this way. Let's interchange. So, we can write here row 2. 1 minus 2 minus 1 and here 1. And here 2 minus 3 minus 1 and here 4. And last one here 1 minus 1, 2 and here we get here 9. So, what we done here? R1 and R2 we interchange r1 and r2 we interchange here okay and here just we have to write on equivalent after that we need here one here we need zero so this we can interchange and we can subtract so let's interchange second row and third row also one minus two without interchanging also you can do it but if you interchange it will be easy to solve one minus one two and here nine 2 minus 3 minus 1 and here 4 what we done here r2 and r3 we interchange second row and third row always we have to take row only so second row and third row we interchange here now we are ready to convert this in the form of identity matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 okay up to here and here this is the value of x and here y and here z so you can see here one we have already one to convert this in the form of zero what we have to do we have to subtract row two from row two we have to subtract row one when you subtract row one we get here what zero one minus one zero how to convert this in the form of zero we have to multiply this row one by two when you multiply by two what happened two into one two and we have to subtract from row three so we get this also zero let's together we can solve this one together make zero so first uh, already here one so no need to do anything this from uh, we have to apply these operations r2 tends to r2 minus r1 and in third row what we have to do r3 minus 2 r1 this operation we have to apply here let's r2 minus r1 this and this we have to subtract 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 we get here minus minus plus so we get here 1 minus 1 plus 2 so we get 1 here 2 minus minus plus so we get here 3 similarly uh, 9 minus 1 we get here 8 r2 and r1 we subtracted now to find out r3 what we have to do r r1 r we have to multiply by 2 then we have to subtract from r3 so let's multiply by 2 this we have to multiply by 2 2 into 1 2 and we have to subtract from 2 2 minus 2 we get here 0 this we have to multiply by 2 minus 4 and we have to subtract from here minus 3 plus 4 we get here 1 yes after that this we have to multiply by my 2 2 into minus 1 we get minus 2 and we have to subtract from here minus 1 minus minus plus 2 so we get here again 1 minus 1 plus 2 we get 1 is equal to this we have to multiply by 2 and 4 minus 2 we get here 2 hope you understand up to here now next time 100 zero zero. now this we have to convert in the form of 0 
this already one and this one we have to convert in the form of one only one one main diagonal should be one other all zero so this we have to convert in the form of zero what we have to do we have to subtract third row and second row when you subtract this two we get here zero no need to look other numbers only we, we have to look this one step by step we have to do let's write down here one minus two minus one and here one zero one three and here eight let's uh, we have to apply this one r3 tends to r3 minus r2 from r3 we have to subtract r2 to get r3 so this two we have to subtract zero minus zero we get zero one minus one we get here zero and here one minus three we get here minus two similarly two minus eight we get here minus six hope you understand up to here after that this we have to convert in the form of one how to convert this in the form of one we have to divide by minus two when you divide by minus two we get here one so one minus two minus one and here one we have after that zero one three and here eight let's divide this row three by minus two so zero when you divide by minus two we get zero when you divide by minus two we get here one when you divide by minus two we get here minus three so what we done here r3 tends to uh, minus one by two r3 we can write down now you can see here one zero zero here we need zero one zero and here we have need zero so this three terms we have to convert in the form of zero so how to convert this we have to convert in the form of zero so this we have to multiply by three yes when you multiply by three and when you subtract here we get this one zero yes and when you add this two again we can get zero so let's do this operation now here we have to convert this one right on zero one three 8 and here 0 0 1 and here minus 3 less we have to convert this one in the form of 0 so this we have to multiply by 2 and we have to add so what we have to do here r1 tends to r1 plus 2 r2 so second row we have to multiply by 2 and we have to add here so let's multiply by 2 0 into 2 0 plus 1 we get here 1 this we have to multiply by 2 2 into 1 2 when you add minus 2 plus 2 we get here 0 when you multiply by 2 here what we happen uh, 3 into 2 6 and we have to add here minus 1 plus 6 minus 1 plus 6 we get here 5 similarly here when you multiply by 2 we get here 16 plus 1 we get here 17 okay up to here after this in next step now this part we have to make zero this one we have to make zero this we have to make zero how to convert this in the form of zero we have to multiply this third row by three and we have to subtract here how to make this one zero we have to multiply this by five when you multiply five we get here five five and we have to subtract from first row and we get answer so third row we already have zero zero one and here minus three now first and second we have to convert so for first what we have to do r1 tends to r1 minus 5 r3 so we have to multiply this by 5 and we have to subtract here similarly for to convert this in the form of 0 what we have to do we have to multiply this by 3 and we have to subtract so r2 tends to r2 minus 3 r2 we 3 r3 r3 we have to row 3 we have to multiply by 3 and we have to subtract here okay let's do it so for r1 we have to multiply this by 5 multiply by 5 we get 5 into 0 0 minus 1 we get here 1 only we have to multiply this by 5 5 into 0 0 we have to subtract here we get 0 only we have to multiply by 5 5 into 1 5 and when you subtract by 5 we get here 0 similarly we have to multiply by 5 minus 3 into 5 we get here 15 minus 15 and we have to subtract here 17 minus 15 we get here how much Uh, we get here 2 here will be plus because we have to subtract divided by minus 1 by 2 so here we get plus okay we have to multiply by 
3 and we have to subtract 5 we have to multiply by 17 17 minus 15 we get 2 similarly for R2 what we have to do this part row 3 we have to multiply by 3 and we have to subtract from row 2 so let's multiply by 3 3 into 0 0 when you subtract we get 0 multiply by 3 we get 0 multiply minus 1 we get this when you multiply this by 3 3 into 1 3 and we have to subtract here 3 minus 3 we get 0 and when you multiply this by 3 3 into 3 9 8 minus 9 we get here minus 1 this one is positive okay so you can see here we have already converted in the form of 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 therefore what is the value of x x is equal to 2 y is equal to minus 1 is here so minus 1 and z is equal to 3 so 3 is the answer hope you understand this video uh, to solve this equation by row equivalent matrix method